started off as one of the old infamous battle axe night shift nurses in CCU. And on the basis of that, got interested in terms of research. I was one of the few nurses who, on nights, I could tell who was going to die. And I could tell just from their breathing who was going to die. I would have a bunch of physicians saying, oh no, Mary, that's okay, because that's the way men breathe. That's not the way men breathe. And that was an indication that something was very wrong. Once I figured out that there was, in fact, something going on with the brain, I was going to have to leave the chest cavity. To me, the brain was just a gelatinous mass under the hair. We came up with a method that uh, was the first heart rate variability technique to be an independent predictor for sudden death. I've never found anywhere else like UCLA in terms of interdisciplinary collaboration. It's world famous for its neuro research and, and the like. I just kind of went, we went walking down the hallways and there was Ron Harper's lab door open. At that time, I had no idea he was this incredibly famous researcher. <laughs> it's having so many uh, resources available that are really only at UCLA. They're not afraid of innovation. They're not afraid of, of letting not only me, but other people try something else that may be better. One of the really important things about me being a nurse is the fact that I bring a more practical clinical aspect to it. Uh, just about all of my research ideas have come from me being a nurse. I'm hoping that my data will provide the basis for a more brilliant type than me to actually save lives.